Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you, and I'm very excited to share with you, just kind of my story and my weight loss journey. It has certainly been a journey. Um, this might be a little bit scattered just because I didn't want to overthink it. I didn't want it to be too inauthentic. I guess I just really wanted to share with you my experience um, and what I did to lose weight after I had my daughter. The pictures that I am showing you up on the screen, I can also see in front of me on my laptop because I strung together pictures of my progression so I can have a reference to talk to you guys about. When I was younger, I wasn't really like, I was never fat, no, I, I was thicker. Um, I was just, I was fit and muscular. I grew up dancing and doing gymnastics. Um, but I never was a clean eater by any means. I never learned what it meant to eat well and I never really learned what it meant to <laughs> restrict eating or like portion sizes. I always ate until I was stuffed, I guess. But I mean, when you're growing up, that's not really a big deal. I never felt fat um, until like junior high. I know people start having body image issues like super early in life. I think mine started in junior high, so I guess I'm I'm blessed in that respect that it didn't start till like after puberty. And I think it really was triggered by bullying, I guess. I had very, like I had thicker thighs and it's because of my, I probably ate quite a bit, but I also like had really, really, and have really, really strong legs because when you're doing gymnastics and you're doing all these backflips, it's like, yeah, you're gonna have muscular legs. Thinking back on that, like that's totally rad. Like that's so cool that I was so strong and still am. And like I can do things I'm not a lot of people could do. But I had people like in the hallway just in passing would be like thunder thighs and say things like this to me. And I mean, kids can be really cruel and I think it's really disgusting, but that's just besides the point. We're not gonna get into that in this video. And my mom always told me like, Liz, you just have strong legs. See, the biggest I got when I was growing up was probably in like high school. Um, maybe freshman and sophomore year, or these pictures that I'm showing you up on the screen. I was working very, very hard, but I also ate a lot and a lot of the wrong stuff. But the absolute worst I have ever felt, the biggest I have ever been, was postpartum with my daughter. I gained a lot of weight with pregnancy, and that's because I ate a lot of McDonald's and a lot of fast food and a lot of whatever I wanted. <laughs> Anytime I wanted it. <laughs> if I am ever pregnant again, I will be doing things very differently, but I gained a lot of weight not thinking about the repercussions after I had my daughter. And so I was very insecure. I was I was disgusted with myself. And when I looked in the mirror, I literally just I had no idea who was looking back at me. I had no idea who that person was with the extra 50 pounds on her body. A lot of people lose weight fast postpartum. I personally did not lose weight fast. I think it took probably 11 months for me to feel like on top of it again, like feel really good, like I was in a good place, feeling confident again. So the things that I did to start losing this weight because of my breastfeeding, it's a long story, but my daughter had some food intolerances, so I essentially had to cut out any processed food for the most part no fast food fried foods I couldn't eat any dairy or soy which was in pretty much everything so my diet was incredibly clean and it was because I had to do that that I lost so much weight and I was also burning the extra calories from breastfeeding and that gets me into a whole nother subject because I am one of those people that when I'm breastfeeding I lose a lot of weight I had some help from breastfeeding, which brings me to a calorie deficit. And having a calorie deficit is really important in losing weight, and it's very it's very simple. The amount of calories you eat, you want to exercise to burn a certain amount of those calories, so at the end of the day, you've burned more calories than you've eaten, and that's how you'll lose weight, essentially. That was really, really easy to do in breastfeeding. <laughs> but now I've recently started intermittent fasting, to cut back on my daily intake of food. Um, and that's basically, I'll just do a 13 hour fast and then the rest of the hours of the day I can eat. And that's very beneficial um, as far as longevity, your lifespan, 
and just living a longer, healthier life. And also because your body needs a break from food. If you think about it, like in the olden days, people didn't have a fridge that they could open and just take something out as soon as they were ready to eat. Like, <laughs> that's not how it works. They had to scavenge for their food and they had to hunt and take certain measures to eat and it was an instant gratification. So those hunger cues you're feeling are actually the hormonal release in your brain for around the time that you normally eat. So you don't have to eat like as soon as you're hungry. It's not necessarily what's most beneficial for your body. If you take a little extra time, drink some water, and just kind of listen to your body a little bit closer than the surface level, it can be very helpful. Another thing I really learned throughout this whole journey is dedication over motivation. Um, because your motivation is gonna fluctuate so much. Your motivation will come and go and I personally have stayed motivated up until the past two weeks and that's been the last year and a half. I mean, I've been motivated, but it's because I've also been dedicated. I've been dedicated to continue seeing the results I've been seeing because I've been seeing such great results. So I've been dedicated to my health, to a healthy lifestyle, to being fit. Most of all, I've just really wanted to feel confident in who I am as a person and be a good influence for those around me, my family, and my daughter. But I really just want to encourage you to start working towards overall health. The scale, like I never use the scale throughout this whole time. You need to take progress pictures to truly see a difference. And looking in the mirror every day, you're not going to see much of a difference. You're going to want to take pictures weekly. That's what, Obviously that's what I did because as you can see there are a lot of pictures. Seeing those pictures and seeing your progress, that's what's going to keep you going. And that's what's going to keep you dedicated to the process. Speaking of the process, <laughs> find something that you really, really enjoy. Find something that you're going to want to do four or five days a week. Um, I personally started off with like a 15 minute fat burner. Didn't necessarily enjoy, but I didn't hate it either and I knew it was gonna get me to my goals. I did a 15 minute fat burner by Sarah's day and I still do it, um, but I used to do this every single day for the first like two, like month and a half that I was postpartum. I did it every single night and then once I was kind of comfortable with that, I moved on to weight training. So I got back into weight training because I already knew I really enjoyed it and there was a, there is a super good gym next to us and I, I have found so many amazing friends and I have built an amazing community there. So it's a place I feel very comfortable and that's where I come alive. Like that's where I feel my best and my most badass. So <laughs> I love weight training. Um, I make sure I do high intensity interval training so that is my cardio. I do that three days a week. Um, I still do that, um, or actually I do that four days a week and I try to do the Sarah's Day workout three days a week and I'll just do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday in the mornings so that I can get it over with because I'm totally prone to going to the gym and saying, okay, I'm gonna do hit today and I'll do like one or two sprint circuits and then I'm like, well, oh, it's already 7 p.m. I already did two, we can probably just call it a day. <laughs> so if I get it done and out of the way in the morning, I'm way more likely to get my hit in for the entire week. And then just doing one hit circuit in the gym. So find something that you love to do, whether it's like yoga, a 30 minute workout at home. But my best advice to you is make sure you're sweating, make sure your body is moving at its full exertion and consistency, be consistent. Don't give up because when you look in the mirror and you see no change and still keep faith knowing that in time you'll get there, that's the difference between those who succeed and those who fail. And that's just the truth. <laughs> that's literally, that is what ran through my mind so many times. And then I would go look at a progress picture or like a picture from when I started, that very first picture that I took when I was two months postpartum. Those are the things that kept me going. So take pictures, dedication over motivation, keep faith, focus on your health over everything because even when you do achieve your dream body, I know for a fact that having your dream body is still not gonna bring you contentment and happiness. So don't put too much 
pressure on how you look. Make it about how you feel and focus on your health and living your best life because you only get one. And you only get one body, so make sure you're treating it how it deserves to be treated. Start living your best life today because you deserve it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I post a lot of videos on health and fitness, on tips and tricks, especially for beginners and postpartum. My channel focus is to really help my subbies become their most healthy and thriving selves. That is my goal for my channel. I really, really, really want to help you achieve that. So just know that I'm here for you and anything that you could possibly need. Send me an email or a DM on my Instagram for any possible questions that you need or please tell me if this video inspired you or helped you in any way. Leave a comment and let me know what phase of your health journey you're in right now. I'm so happy for you, I'm so excited for you and I know you can do this. You got this. All right, I guess that's it. Love you guys so much, bye.